In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Zn plus FeSO4. This is zinc metal plus iron 2 sulfate. The first thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations is we need to balance the molecular equation. So when we look at this molecular equation, it's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Next, we're going to write the state for each substance. Zinc, that's a metal, so it's going to be a solid. Sulfates are very soluble, so this is going to dissolve and dissociate. We're going to write AQ, so it'll break apart into its ions. Again, another sulfate, that'll be aqueous. And then iron, that's a metal. It'll be a solid. So we have our single replacement reaction. The zinc comes in, it pushes the iron out, then the iron's by itself. So this is a single displacement reaction. We'll next split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Zinc, we can't split apart. It's just solid zinc. So we're going to put zinc. I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Plus, the sulfate, this entire ion is 2 minus. Good one to remember. So the iron has to be 2 plus. So we have our iron 2 ion, Fe2 plus. And then we have our sulfate ion, SO4 2 minus, and those are the reactants in the net ionic equation for zinc plus iron 2 sulfate. In the products, we have our zinc and our sulfate. So we said the sulfate's 2 minus the zinc, that's 2 plus. We have zinc, Zn2 plus, plus the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus, and then the iron, that's a solid, so we just have Fe. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So as we look here, Zn and Zn2+, plus, those are different. Can't cross those out. Same with the Fe2+, plus and the Fe. But the sulfate ion here in the reactants, and again in the products, that's a spectator ion. That's gone. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for zinc plus iron 2 sulfate. I'll clean it up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Zn plus FeSO4. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have this 2 plus on the reactant side. On the product side, we have a 2 plus. So charge is the same. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for zinc plus iron 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.